Well, Washington has so far ruled out sending in troops to Syria and Iraq, but some top U.S. officials say there's no way to beat Islamic State without putting American boots on the ground there. Here's Guy Nature Chikan. We've all heard President Obama say over and over again there will be no U.S. boots on the ground to fight ISIS. He said what the American people wanted to hear, but apparently some former and even current U.S. officials don't seem to believe it. General Ray Odierno, the Army Chief of Staff, told journalists that airstrikes would prove insufficient to achieve the goal of destroying ISIS, which is the stated goal of President Obama. He said, quote, you've got to have ground forces that are capable of going in and rooting them out, end of quote. There will have to be, I think, to achieve the mission the president has assigned, uh, some boots on, some American boots on the ground and in harm's way. If we reach the point where I believe our advisors should accompany Iraq troops on attacks against specific ISIL targets, I'll recommend that to the president. Then you have, of course, President Obama's more hawkish opponents like House Speaker John Boehner blasting him for saying U.S. troops will not be engaged in a combat mission on the ground, whether in Iraq or in Syria. An F-16 is not a strategy. And airstrikes alone will not accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. On the other end of the pond, former U.K. Prime Minister Tony Blair, who so eagerly partnered with George W. Bush to invade Iraq, now says British troops have to be ready to go back into Iraq and, quote-unquote, accept casualties. Are Americans ready for such a mission creep? We've asked people here by the White House. I support taking action against that group, but I don't support ground troops right now. Um, later? What about later? Uh, it depends on the circumstance. If it really warranted it, I would say yes, but I think it would have to be an extreme circumstance. We've already made a debacle over there. I don't see uh, any continued presence of the U.S. as any benefit to me or anybody else here. 1,600 U.S. troops are already in Iraq. The U.S. president says they will not engage in combat, only in training and preparation of so-called local partner forces. But a host of other officials seem to be preparing the public for the possibility of another ground war. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chekyan, RT.